Have you ever found yourself curious about the experience of being denied boarding a flight due to your weight? At least it's not bad to have an abundance of body fat. It only becomes weird when you're subjected to the same weight check process as your luggage at the airport. In such instances, what should you do? Are there specific laws that restrict overweight individuals from boarding certain flights? You're paying for the flight, you should enjoy your trip like everyone else. But what if you are too fat to fly? Sit back, grab your favorite drink, preferably a glass of water, and join us as we explore the concept of airports weighing luggage, its implications for passengers, and the intricate relationship between your weight and your ability to travel by air. Embarking on a journey by plane involves various considerations, including baggage weight restrictions imposed by airlines, stopovers, and duration, etc. However, it is important to understand that weight restrictions related to passengers themselves are much more nuanced and complex. While it may seem disconcerting to think about potential weight-related barriers to air travel, it is crucial to approach this subject objectively and with clarity. It is no big secret that airline coach seats have become increasingly cramped and uncomfortable over the years. Passengers now often find themselves squeezed into seats that provide just enough room to buckle up and stay in one position for the whole journey. However, some flyers face the issue of not having sufficient space to sit comfortably in their seat and fasten their seatbelt. These individuals are known as passengers of size, and many airlines have a policy that mandates an additional fee for them to acquire a second seat. Typically, this pertains to obese passengers who require a seatbelt extender or who cannot properly fit in one seat. Unfortunately, passengers who are overweight or of larger size do not have much choice when it comes to this rule. Since each airline has its specific policy, it is important for passengers who fall into this category to familiarize themselves with the policy of major airlines before they travel, as they can significantly impact your overall air travel experience. To address whether there are laws that oppose overweight individuals from boarding certain flights, it's important to note that no global regulations exist that directly target passengers based on their weight. Airlines generally do not enforce weight restrictions for passengers unless there are specific safety concerns related to the aircraft's weight and balance. So, when selecting an appropriate carrier, you must consider the constraints and limitations of each airline. These may include restrictions on carrying additional baggage or limited seating size. Non-compliance with these restrictions can lead to additional charges or even being denied boarding. To avoid such situations, it is highly recommended that you contact the chosen airline carrier for booking inquiries and obtain information about weight restrictions, baggage allowances, and associated costs before your flight. It's essential for you to review each airline's policy documents thoroughly. This step ensures that your upcoming journey proceeds without complications or surprises, providing you with peace of mind and a smooth travel experience. Airline companies prioritize safety, and weight limitations are a crucial aspect of their flight operations. These limitations help maintain aircraft stability, optimize fuel consumption, and ensure smooth landing performance throughout the journey. It's important to note that weight limits may vary depending on the type of aircraft being used, considering their performance, dynamics, and structural capabilities. When it comes to luggage, both checked baggage and carry-on bags are subject to specific weight restrictions set by airlines. Checked baggage generally enjoys more generous weight allowances compared to carry-on bags due to the limited overhead bin space in the cabin. This distinction is made to accommodate the needs of all passengers and maintain a safe and organized cabin environment. To ensure the comfort and safety of passengers, airlines may assess an individual's size or special requirements before boarding to make appropriate accommodations. This proactive approach helps enhance the overall travel experience and ensures that passengers feel comfortable and secure during their journey. When it comes to seating, airlines have implemented a policy that requires passengers to lower both armrests to ensure everyone can comfortably fit within the seat dimensions. The armrests serve as a physical boundary between seats and help maintain personal space for each individual. If you're unable to lower both armrests, it may indicate that your body size exceeds the space allocated for a single seat. Seat belts are crucial for the safety of all passengers during flights. It's mandatory for everyone to fasten their seat belts without using any extensions when boarding the aircraft. Seat belts mitigate the effects of turbulence or other unexpected aerodynamic events that can occur during the flight, helping keep individuals securely in place and minimizing the risk of injury. However, if you cannot fasten your seat belt without an extender, it suggests that the conventional seating arrangements may not provide a comfortable fit for you. In such cases, airlines may request you to purchase an additional seat or upgrade to larger seating options. 
This approach ensures everyone on board can enjoy maximum comfort and safety throughout their journey. For passengers concerned about fitting comfortably into standard seats during flights, several solutions are available to alleviate their apprehensions. One option is to request a seatbelt extender from the flight attendants. This simple device allows individuals with larger body sizes to fasten their seatbelts securely, even when using smaller seats. Another option, if permitted by the airline's policies, is to bring your seatbelt extender. In addition to using seatbelt extenders, there are other strategies that you could try. One option is to request seating near emergency exits, as these seats often provide additional legroom. Another possibility is to attempt to secure vacant adjacent spaces, which can provide extra space and comfort. However, it's important to note that the availability of these options may vary depending on various factors. Also, you want to avoid middle seats if you are a plus-sized person. The middle seat is usually the most uncomfortable. Airlines prioritize passenger safety above all else, so they must strictly adhere to specific safety regulations and guidelines. Before considering any requests or preferences from passengers, airlines must ensure that these requests do not compromise safety. The availability of additional features such as seatbelt extenders, empty seats, or proximity to emergency exits depends on various factors, including flight occupancy rates and aircraft configuration. These factors and regulatory safety requirements cannot be ignored under any circumstance. To guarantee a smooth journey experience without compromising your personal comfort levels or specific needs, it's crucial to communicate well in advance with relevant airline staff, ideally providing them with all the necessary details. It will allow the airline representatives enough time before your flight to make necessary arrangements. Bucking an extra ticket could also be considered, meaning you can pay for two seats. Often, that's the best option for obese passengers. Paying for an extra seat of four time comes with numerous advantages. It's often less expensive than paying at the airport, where prices might have skyrocketed due to higher demand. Bucking ahead guarantees availability, since seats tend to fill up fast during peak periods. If you require an extra seat for your flight due to size-related needs or disabilities, it is essential to plan ahead by notifying your airline of your requirements in advance. This will allow their customer service representatives to provide personalized assistance with your bucking process and help accommodate any special seating needs. On the other hand, you might be lucky to have several unused seats aboard. In such a case, you could be refunded, but it's important to know that different airlines have different policies regarding refunds when vacant seats are available. Therefore, it is crucial to confirm these policies before making your bookings. Doing so can ensure you understand the airline's guidelines and know any potential refund options. Flying can be a daunting experience, particularly for individuals with larger body sizes. However, with adequate research and preparation, it is possible to make the entire process much smoother. One important step is to conduct thorough research beforehand, including direct communication with the airline's customer service team. By reaching out to them, you can gather valuable information and guidance specific to your needs. For fat individuals, it is essential to inquire about accessible transportation routes within airports, ensuring that you have a clear understanding of the available options. It will help you navigate through the airport with ease and convenience. Additionally, by discussing your requirements with the airline's customer service team, you can learn about any special assistance services they offer, such as wheelchair accessibility or priority boarding. Do not be shy to approach an agent or ask for help. If you need to use the bathroom, get some blood flowing in your legs or stretch, go ahead and do it. Don't let your size confine you and don't put yourself at risk or jeopardize your own comfort just to make others feel more comfortable. You deserve to be comfortable as well. Lastly, it is beneficial to communicate directly with the airlines regarding security checkpoints. Understanding the procedures and any necessary accommodations will help you navigate through these checkpoints effortlessly. By informing the airline of your specific circumstances, they can provide guidance and support, making your journey as smooth and stress-free as possible. Hope you've gained something from this video. Kindly like and comment, and don't forget also to subscribe to this channel to get more travel tips.